What's going on YouTube? And in this video, we're gonna be going through three ways that you can learn cybersecurity online. So for those of you that don't know me, I am Cyber Tom, and my channel is all about IT cybersecurity education. This is what we do week in and week out. If you are interested in IT, if you are interested in cybersecurity, if you are interested in networking, we cover all of that in this channel. And if you're interested in this type of content, then subscribe down below and check out the newest videos by hitting the bell notification. So for a lot of people right now, they can't maybe afford to get through a university where they don't have no way to pay for anything like that, where funds are tight. We've all been there and that's okay because there's other ways that you can learn cybersecurity other than the traditional route. Now that's why I'm gonna point out these three ways that I think can really booster you and teach you cybersecurity online. Now listen, you need to have some dedication, right? You can't just expect that you're gonna learn all this stuff without putting in some real hard work. And just because it's online doesn't mean that you don't need dedication. Matter of fact, I think that it means that you need to be more dedicated because a lot of this material, there's no timer, there's no end date, it's only you and the software, you and the program, you and the course. If you're not dedicating yourself day in and day out, you're gonna fall behind and you're gonna stop learning. So as I go through all this, keep that in mind. You need to stay dedicated when you're going through these. So as I go through these, pick one, right? And go through that and finish it. And then do another one or a third one or a fourth one to really boost your skills. Don't start four of these at once because you're gonna wind up getting yourself confused, frustrated, and it's gonna make you feel like you're not understanding the content. And really, you may be. It's just that you're doing too much at once. So as we go through this, keep that in mind. Pick one of these that you think is a good starting point and just go for it. Okay, so the first major way that you can learn how to do cybersecurity online is a very, very popular website used by many, many people. And the great thing about this, it is very, very inexpensive. So let's look at it a little bit. It's gonna be Udemy. So it doesn't get much more simple in Udemy. Over here at the top, in the search bar, you're just simply gonna type in what you're looking to do. For instance, type in cybersecurity. The good thing about Udemy is it's gonna go ahead and pull up the best courses that are rated the highest right now on Udemy. You can see here, frequently bought together. It shows you a complete course where you can buy all three of these at once. And look at these prices. This, this is the kicker right here, $24, $30. And I've even seen them cheaper than that. Um, a lot of the courses that I've bought were only $10, $15. So do not undermine Udemy. Udemy is great for courses. It has generalist courses, um, just straight cybersecurity courses where you can go through and learn um, hacking. You can learn defensive security. Uh, you can see here, it shows you exactly what you're getting yourself into, how long these videos are. Uh, it's a great, great tool. Um, you could even see back here that there is opportunity for certification training, which is a huge deal. Uh, a lot of these certification um, books are very expensive, not on Udemy, $25. Again, you can't beat that. This is a great, great way for you to learn cybersecurity. Go through some of these, pick one out and go through it from start to finish. Again, go to the top and just click off only the you know, 4.5 stars and up. This way you know you're getting quality content. So I have a couple different options for um, the first way to learn cybersecurity, which is through online courses. The second one here, the first one we covered is Udemy, right? The second one is gonna be Try Hack Me. So let's get into Try Hack Me and start to look around and see what you can get uh, for their $10 a month price. So we have an option to click over here in the learning paths 
and you'll see we have all of the modules for TriHackMe. It's great to jump into one of these if you're new to TriHackMe to keep you on schedule and not really jumping around too many places. That's how a lot of people get confused. So if you're gonna do TriHackMe, um, make sure that you jump into one of these paths to really keep your learning sequential and getting yourself used to things one step at a time rather than jumping into hard parts of cybersecurity that's really going to confuse you you need to learn the basics first so this is where i would recommend to start for somebody if you're brand new to security trying to learn online it's going to show you down here that it's easy and it is 24 hours right so what you can go do is go down here and start looking at some of the different rooms and this is what you're gonna learn throughout this path in particular. You get to go into the rooms, they will spin up a whole machine for you, uh, whether it needs to be Windows or Linux, depending on the module. And step by step, you're gonna learn cybersecurity. This is a great option for people that are just trying to get into the field. Now look at this, we can also do this. Say you're confused on how to use Nmap, right? You can go type in Nmap in the search bar and you have Nmap as a module to learn it from start to finish as well as as well as some rooms that implement Nmap where you can gain some more skills. So the last option here um, that I have for you today in the first way to learn cybersecurity online is through TCM security. This is another online course, another online website where you can build your skills and learn. So let's take a look at the website here and get you a little bit familiarized with it. So if you go to academy.tcm.sec.com, you will be able to pull up all of the courses that are offered. Um, this is all made up by an amazing teacher named Heath Adams. I have been watching his stuff for since I started security. Um, he's been a great teacher to me, um, a great role model, somebody who is heavily on the office offensive side of security um, and continues to just bring a wealth of knowledge to the cybersecurity field. You can trust this guy um, 100% when it comes to cybersecurity. He knows what he's talking about. He's very skilled and he has a lot of experience. Um, his courses also, look at this, affordable, $29.99, privilege es escalation, Practical Ethical Hacking, which I've even dived into myself, uh, which is an excellent course to go through. Open source intelligence, pen test playbook. I mean, it's limitless. And then he also has a few other guys that work along with him that uh, you can get onto one of their modules and learn this way as well. I mean, guys, for 30 bucks, he's really offering you great content for $30. And the courses are wonderful. He's a great teacher. So check them out. Uh, this is TCM Security, and this is the last website I have for you. The second way to learn cybersecurity is something that you probably have thought of already, but it's important to note, and it's one of the best, best ways to get real life application, and that's going to be certifications. Certifications are going to get you even a job. They're not just going to teach you cybersecurity like the other steps that I'm pointing out. They're actually going to get you a job where you can put this certification on your resume. Now, not, this doesn't go to say that the other steps that I'm mentioning are not um, as important. I'm just letting you know that certifications are something when you're done, you could take that and put it on your resume and it stays there. And resume after resume after resume, doesn't matter how many times you update it, you're always going to have certifications. It's kind of like your degrees. So keep that top of mind when it comes to learning cybersecurity certifications, right? So let's go into some of the ones that I recommend um, right now. So the first one is going to be my favorite, the Security Plus by CompTIA. This certification is only a couple hundred dollars. I think last time I checked, it was three seventy. dollars um, It offers a wealth of knowledge. The book is about 900 pages, which I've went through myself and read from front to back to pass the exam. Uh, and it is always going to be one of my favorite exams and my favorite 
um, certifications for people that are trying to learn cybersecurity. It just touches on each and every field of cybersecurity, and it kind of gives you a wide but short depth of knowledge of everything in the field. And I really think that it's going to improve a lot of your knowledge around cybersecurity if you get yourself that certification. Another certification that is great is the GCIH, which is the GIAC Certified Incident Handler. This certification now is going to be a little bit more pricey. So I would suggest highly if you're not in a position with a company that can afford to send you to get this certification, kind of count this one out. I think it's ranging around $3,000. It's expensive, but it's highly sought after. But like I said, if you're not willing to drop $3,000, it's probably not going to be the best certification for you. Um, you want to take this certification if you're in a role that's going to pay for it. That's just the blunt truth, uh, in my honest opinion. But you're going to get really in-depth knowledge on how to respond to incidents that happen in real time in companies and how you will respond, react, and prevent these incidents from occurring. Uh, it's gonna dive into a little bit of attacks that happen as well. Now, you guys know that I'm always vouching for networking, right? So the last certification that I'll recommend for you is gonna be the CCNA um, by Cisco. This is really gonna get your foot in the door and I'd say go even beyond that to learn the intricacies of networking, uh, how devices talk to each other, how to use the CLI of a lot of switches and routers that are out in the field. And it's gonna teach you the landscape on which you're trying to protect. You can't protect a landscape that you don't understand how it works. So that's gonna be my third certification that I recommend for you guys. But that's step two, guys. So far we have online coursing and now certifications. So what is step three? Step three is gonna be setting up your own lab, right? You wanna get some hands-on experience. You wanna do things in your time frame. If you see a tool that you like on Try Hack Me, maybe you wanna test it out yourself, right? So in order to do that, you wanna set up a lab. Now, I would say for beginners, just do something simple. And by simple, I'm gonna show you how to spin up a Kali Linux virtual machine on your Windows device. Most people are using Windows out there. If you have a Mac, you can do this on Mac as well. Uh, and I think it's gonna give you a good insight into Kali Linux, which is one of the most popular OS's out there for hacking. And you're gonna get to see exactly how people are using Kali in everyday work to uh, attack different infrastructures legally, of course, uh, for red teaming and, you know, use different tools like password crackers and things like that. It'll give you a chance to dive in and look at it for yourself. So let's go over to the computer. I'll show you exactly the steps that you need to take just to get Kali Linux up and running on your Windows device. So the first thing you want to do here is go to the VMware workstation player. You're going to download this, right? Once you download this file, you're going to be able to then pull up the VMware player. This player is just the start. You're still going to have to download two other things. The other two things that you're going to have to download are going to be the Kali Linux which you can easily get to by going to Kali.org, select 64-bit, and then you're gonna wanna select the VMware. VMware is what we're downloading this ISO onto. Once you download that, it's gonna be down here in your downloads. You'll go over to the 7-zip, which is what you need to download and extract this ISO file. Once you have this, by simply cl clicking download here and going to 7-zip.org, you will then have the 7-zip application. Once you have it downloaded through the .7z file here, you'll be able to extract it to your download file and make it a file that you'll be able to read through VMware as you can see here. Once you have it on VMware, the next thing you want to do, do not click create a new virtual machine. That's going to get you stuck. Click open a new virtual machine. You're going to go to your downloads. 
you're going to collect the file that you have just downloaded and you're going to open it once you open it you're going to see that you have the latest version of kali linux so guys those are my three suggestions on ways to learn cybersecurity online. I hope that it's really helped you get an understanding of what you need and how you can learn cybersecurity online without going the traditional route. Um, there are just a wealth of knowledge out there for ways to learn. Um, take one thing and go for it. Don't get caught up in five of these, right? Take one thing. If you like TCM and you say, wow, that looks like a great course, just do it. Just go for that, right? Don't do this or that or this one thing at a time. Get yourself adjusted to security and the basics of it and then build from there. Um, that's all I got for this video, guys. Drop a comment down. Let me know which one of these things that you're interested in doing. And I'll catch you in the next video.